and girls, it's children's service. <laughs> I'm not the one singing. We're going to go into praise and worship shortly. But I want you to give God your full attention. What did I say? Full, not partial. Okay. So, um, mummies and daddies, please stay close to your kids um, during this time. Let it try to encourage them to engage as much as possible. You know why? Not because we're going to be happy that you just ticked the box and you said, hmm, you were there for, for children's service. But no, you are actually going to be blessed you know what it's like to be in front of a most powerful person that has so much money and so much fame and you know for all you so much instagram followers and so much do you know what that means it means that you're, there are so many benefits that come with that right so now think about it god is the god of the whole universe he made the heavens and the earth and now you are have the opportunity to be in his presence so get ready get ready this cannot get any better because in his presence is fullness of joy and at his right hand are pleasures forevermore so see you shortly for the bible discussion see you bye how are you all doing i have missed you so much and it's good to be with you again Okay, we are going to be doing this, a song this morning called I am a friend of God. Ask your brother, your sister, are you a friend of God? Yes, I am a friend of God. Are you ready? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, one, two, hey, he calls me friend. Let's sing. Who am I saying? Who am I that you I'm thinking of me That you hear me When I come Yeah Is it true that you are thinking of me yeah. That you love me Shout it's amazing It's amazing I am a friend of God I am a friend of God. Oh, I am a friend of God. Oh, I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. Oh, I am a friend of God. Oh, I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. Now say, who will that you are my true love Let me hear you Okay, okay When I call Say, is it true? Say, is it true that you are thinking of me? Hey, hey That you love me Say, it's amazing It's amazing Two more times Say, it's amazing It's amazing I am a friend of God 
And now we have the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Rahab. This is Rahab. Hi. Rahab lived in the town of Jericho in the Promised Land. Rahab was not an Israelite, and she made bad choices. But God had a plan for Rahab, even though she was a sinner. Ah, all right. Now God told His people, the Israelites, hey, that's us, to go into the Promised Land. So Joshua sent two spies to search the land around the city of Jericho. The two spies came to Rahab's house to stay the night. But the king of Jericho heard that there were spies in his city, so he sent orders for Rahab to bring them out. But Rahab hid the spies uh, hello. Out, you're here. and told the king's men that it was true that the men were at her house, but she did not know where they were now. Uh, I don't know, but... She told the king's men to go quickly to find the spies because they could not have gone far. Go now. Oh, right. So the king's men rushed out to the city in pursuit of the Israelite spies. All the while, the Israelites hid on Rahab's roof. So Rahab went to them and said, I know the Lord has given you this land. We have heard of the great acts that God has done for you. Your God is the God of all the heavens and the earth. So please swear to me that you will be kind to my family. The spies agreed to this, and Rahab helped them escape from the city. Before they left, they told Rahab to tie a scarlet rope to the window. Yeah! Whoa! Oops! Uh-huh! This rope would serve as a mark for Rahab's house and would remind the Israelites of their promise to her. Thank you! Oh, thank you! And so, the spies were on their way. For three days, they hid from the king's men who were looking for them. Finally, they returned to Joshua and told them all they had seen. Rahab was remembered for her faithfulness, for she had given a friendly welcome to the spies and put her trust in the one true God. Phew. Rahab, though, that was risky. Did you feel that way? Like looking at that story or watching the story and I was like, Rahab, Rahab, you're going to get caught. You're going to get caught. But she didn't. <laughs> she didn't. So that's so beautiful because God protects us. And so I like the way the story starts off saying, you know, Rahab may not have been so good, but she got in God's good books. Like she got into God's, God's good books. How did she do that? Guys, you remember the word I used? I've used this word before. Faith. She happened to even come into the Hall of Faith. Not Hall of Fame, but Hall of Faith, which is in Hebrews 11. Ah, God, I really want you boys and girls to be able to get this. Faith is how you please God, right? So to get into God's good books, you must have faith. And what is faith? Basically believing without seeing. Because no one has ever seen God face to face, but we believe him. And he's so real. So because we don't, something is unseen doesn't mean it's unreal. It's real. It's just not in the physical. It's real in the spiritual. And that's why we're Christians, right? We get to walk by faith and not by sight. You're going to get a hang of all of these Bible studies. Don't worry. All these Bible verses very shortly. So, Rahab. 
she took a risk but it was not risk it was faith she said i know that your god is the real deal right so i'm going to protect you i'm going to be there for you i'm going to stand to you know and i'm hoping that you help me out when you come back wow that's serious faith she believed not only believed god was going to protect she believed that they were going to come back to take over that land right so today i want you to trust god for everything that you need don't trust um don't trust in man trust in god because even the man that you trust in trusts in god right so our only faith must be in god He's the ultimate. He's the only one who can save. He's the only one who can deliver. And like Rahab, by doing that, by putting your faith in the Lord Jesus, you can switch from bad books to good books. Bad books to good books. Meaning, it doesn't matter what your history was like. It doesn't matter what has happened in the past. It doesn't matter if, if you've been naughty, if you've not been so nice. You just say, I believe God and I'm going to walk by faith. I may not see God, but I'm going to walk with him. I'm going to love him. I'm going to serve him, right? And just like Rahab, you get into the hall of faith, the hall of faith. And there's no better place to be. You'll be so blessed if you trust in God. I hope you've enjoyed that lesson as I did. And I wish you a very beautiful Saturday. Be blessed. Hello friends, how you doing? So you know what time it is. Yeah, it's squeeze time. So let's get straight right into it. So the first question, who sent the spies to check out the land? Who sent the spies to check out the land? A. Moses. B. Jordan. C. Joshua. D. Jacob. And if you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C, Joshua. Next question. How many spies did Joshua send out? How many spies did Joshua send out? A, 1. B, 2. C, 3. D, 4. And if you answered B, then you are correct. The answer is B, 2. Send two spies out. Next question. What was the name of the city the spies went to? What was the name of the city that the spies went to? A. Israel. B. Bethlehem. C. The city of God. D. Jericho. And if you answered D, then you are correct. The answer is D. Jericho. And the next question, number four. Who knew that the spies were at Rahab's house? Who knew that the spies were at Rahab's house? A. Jordan B. Joseph C. Rahab's neighbor D. The king of Jericho And if you answer D, then you are correct. The answer is D. The king of Jericho. Next question. When the guards came to, J to Rahab's house to find the spies, where were they when the guards came to rahab's house to find the spies where were they a they had already left b in the basement c on the roof d sound asleep and if you answered c then you are correct the answer is c they were on the roof next question what did rahab hide the spies under the roof under her roof with what did rahab hide the spies under her roof a stalks of wheat b stalks of grass c stalks of flocks d stalks of bean stalks And if you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C, stalks of flocks. Next question. Rahab said to the spies, For the Lord is your God. For the Lord your God, he is. Rahab said to the spies, For the Lord your God, he is. What? A, good. B, a great God. C, God in the heavens above and on the earth. D, all that and more. And if you answered C, then you are correct. She said, 
for the Lord your God, he is God in the heavens above and on the earth. Next question, number eight. Where did the guards go after they left Rahab's house? Where did the guards go after they left Rahab's house? A. To search her roof. B. Looking for the spies. C. Back to the king. D. They waited outside. And if you answered B, then you are correct. The guards went looking for the spies. Next question. Rahab and the spies made a pinky promise that they that her family would be safe from harm when the spies returned rahab and the spies made a pinky promise that her family would be safe from harm when the spies returned a true b false is that true or false and if you answered a then you are correct the answer is true um last question how did Rahab let the spies out of her house? How did Rahab left the, let the spies out of her house? A. The front door. B. They crawled out of the basement. C. They crawled out of the window. D. They threw them out. And if you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C out of the window and those are all our questions for today um we'll see you next week bye